Oh, there we go, right there. Box three. Oh, I think that's a missile! Oh! I was like, that looks like a missile! Hello again, minions! It's Wheezy. We're back in DCS, in the F-15C. Today, I want to do some BVR practice, which is beyond visual range fighting. Really, it's just air-to-air -air practice, because the way this ends up, I tend to accidentally get myself into merges and get shot in the face with infrared missiles. Anyway, I need to practice. I need to get into some aerial combat fights. We're going to kind of just jump into it. I'll sort of kind of explain things as I can, but the general gist of this is I can spawn an aircraft in um, one at a time, basically, to fight. I'm going to try and engage them. I have six AIM-120C AMRAM missiles for longer range engagements and two AIM-9M sidewinders in case things get close. I'm going to get shot down and I'm going to get killed probably a bunch, but we'll see if I can get some kills on these guys. And basically every time we do this, uh, hopefully I'll get better. So I'll bring you guys along and let's get some practice. So we'll uh, go ahead and fire in here. I'll go ahead and put the radar into BVR mode. Turn my radar on. Let's go ahead and spawn in a, let's see, let's do a MiG-25 first. So basically they're gonna spawn in here and we're gonna try to shoot them down. All right, so I got a guy 25,000 out ahead of me. Uh, 50, okay, so there we go. I see him on there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in TWS mode and try to get a TWS lock against him so that he's hopefully not getting a lot of information about when we decide to fire. And then I'm gonna put him a little bit out on the gimbal uh, of my radar in case he fires at us first until we're basically within range to fire and then I'll turn in on him and fire an AMRAM. And then we'll go defensive and we'll see what we can do. Let's go ahead and start turning in. We've got launch permission there. I'm gonna go ahead and wait, get a little bit closer until he starts maybe locking me up. He's starting to lock me up, so we're gonna fire. Fox three. I'm gonna put him on our beam. warning it might have been I'm not entirely certain I'm gonna go ahead and put another amber on him and we're gonna go defensive AIM-120s. I'm not sure if I needed to do that. That may have been a little bit overkill, but honestly for now I'm just trying to get missiles on the target. I'm not trying to be efficient. 
We're going to bring the range of my radar down to 40 miles because we're already going to be pretty close here. Matter of fact, actually, you know what? Fuck it. We'll just spawn another guy in. Let's do a MiG-23. So he's going to be probably pretty goddamn close to us. There we go. Sorry, I'm pretty slow right now, which is not good. 25,000 for 30, so he's at 30 miles. Just barely inside of range here, so we're going to wait a little bit. He's starting to track us. That's a missile off. So we're going to fire and defend. I put on a lot of speed turning away from there. And he chapped our missile. So it looks like he's going to survive that just fine. Dropping his tanks. So we're going to spawn back in. Go right back into EVR mode. See if we can track this guy. It looks like he was defending. So I'm not sure if he's gone low. Oh, there we go. Got him out there. I'm going to go ahead and put him back in trackball scan. Zoom in on him. All right. Damaged. Did my hammer ram track him down? It appears that may have been what happened. All right. Let's get another one in here. So now we're going to get into tougher guys, I think. Big 29. Springfield 1 1. Focus 1 1. Bra 3 0 0. 4 45. 0 0. 25,000. Hot. Not 25, so we gotta scan up a little bit higher. There we go. Got him locked. In TWS. We are gonna go ahead as we're speeding up. Out a little bit on the gimbal. About 20,000, so we're going to get to the point where it's going to start letting us fire here. But again, we're going to try and see if we can close more. Get as much speed as we can to help the missile out. Inside of 20 miles now. starts to give us a hard lock, we're going to fire. Alright. So he fired, so we're going to go to we're gonna fire, go defensive. in and spawn another guy. What do we got here? Uh, let's do 
Field 1-1. One, one. Focus 1-1. One, one. Bra 314 for 29 at 25,000 hot. Alright, there we go. 25,000, so he's above us, so I'm gonna climb. So we are inside of max range. The closer we can get, the better our probability of kill. He's starting to lock us, so we're gonna fire. Go defensive. Looks like a missile. Uh -oh. I'm not entirely certain what happened there, but it appears. That, what, what did I, what happened? Aim 120, so my missile did track him down. Interesting. Alright, let's go MiG-29. Springfield 1-1, one, one. focus 1-1. One, one. Bra 301, 445 three, zero, at 25,000 hot. Alright, got a trackball scan. Just to get in the habit of it. Doesn't give us much of an advantage against the computer, honestly, but... And we're at 35 miles. It's giving us max range here. Because we're at high altitude, he's tracking. We're gonna go ahead and launch and track while scan. Put him off our beam a little bit here. Because we got shot down. 
We're having decent success today. I can... Alright, there we go. There's our splash. Alright, let's get some altitude here. And spawn in another guy. We are down to... MiG-31, Su-30, Su-33. Let's do the Su-30. left, so we'll probably give this guy two as well. That guy's already given us track. We've got a hard lock on us. We're going to try and climb here a little bit. We're going to give him a missile. He launched on us, so we're going to put it off here. Absolutely no idea where this guy was. Yeah, I, especially with those clouds, I just cannot keep track of that. All right. Looks like Angel's 6, so he's low. So 
you stay up here and launch a couple AM rams at him. I've got to get better at like my situational awareness. That looks like a missile. Spicy, spicy, spicy. All right, what do we got left? Sue 33, MiG 31. Let's do the MiG. Close. Springfield 1-1, one, one. focus 1-1, one, one. bra 295-429 at 25,000 knots. Oh, so he's up high. There we go. He's already tracking us. And he's got the altitude advantage. We're gonna climb. towards the AWACS a little bit before we get this last engagement so we don't just start in, uh, in the merge. Alright, what do we got here? So hopefully we got enough fuel that we can win this last fight and go land. Or I'll die. <laughs> Over G, over G, over G, 
And it, I'm still objectively not very good at that. But, by hurling lots of missiles at aircraft from relatively long distances, I think I've shown that I can make things happen. Let's go in and have a landing. Getting to use the weapon systems. Now, here's the thing. That's simulation aircraft versus... What you're used to in video games where you can just kind of point at the enemies and there's always a box showing you where they are and you can shoot at them. When I turn away and my radar goes cold over here, I lose literal knowledge of where they are. And if they change locations, like, I have to try and reacquire them on my radar. And it has a limitation of what altitudes it can scan, as you can see right there, right? Like, 
I have to adjust where I want it to look, and I have to change what kind of mode I want it to look in, and I can change, you know, if I want a narrower scan or a wider scan, like, so there's quite a bit to it, for sure. And especially when you're, like, in combat, and you're, like, trying to fight, and being shot at, and you're like, oh, I gotta switch, and then it's like, oh, he's coming into close range, so do I switch to visual, do I switch to boresight mode, or vertical scan mode, and... Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot, it's a lot to process all at one time for sure, so. Four miles, okay, so there it is, all right. So is this trying to bring us in this way? I think so. This is going to be a quick approach here. Let's go ahead and just bring it in hot here. Flaps down. Yeah? I may have been going too fast to bring flaps down. So flaps down. Coming in super, super direct. We are coming in awfully fast here. So I don't know if we're going to slow down enough. Yeah, we're not. Let's, let's go ahead and... Just buzz by. So now, we should be able to turn in, burn off a lot of this speed. Too much. Burn off too much speed. Flaps down, flaps are down, gear down. Outer marker. Line up the crosshair to get on the flight path. Greenfield 1-1, Kalki, check landing gear. Wind 107 at 5 meters per second. Did I not pull my gear up? Thank you. Did I not pull my gear up when I went around? I could have sworn I did. Alright, gear's down. I'm glad he said that. <laughs> Check landing gear. Yep, got it. Get her about 22 degrees. And... Nice, easy touchdown. Oh, I pulled that too far. I was trying to use this in air brake and I dragged the tail. I tried to get fancy. And I scraped the tail. <laughs> That's the wrong one, wheel brake. I had dropped a flare. Again, old school. Well, we're on the ground with 1,100 pounds of fuel to spare. She burns a lot of fuel in afterburner, not so much just cruising, I guess, which makes sense. Well, okay. Shut down the engines. Shut off our avionics. And call that a success. Ish. We got shot down se several, several times. We're learning. We're learning every single day. Uh, every time we go up, just like with the frog foot, every time we go up, we learn something new. It's definitely a good time. Learning this is an awesome challenge, and it's good fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned a little bit something, too. Expect more stuff like this from me, and maybe going into more in-depth on what we're going to see with the instruments and stuff like that. But uh, if you're new to my DCS videos, and you missed my all my videos going through and learning the Su-25T Frogfoot, uh, go and check those out. I've got a video linked in the end card that you can go check out if you missed some of those videos. Uh, otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.